Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we are gonna try to pretty much get this buttoned up. Justin came out and uh, did some tightening of some stuff. Still gotta get a cotter pin to go in there. He's got that tight. Sway bar in link. Put the brake bracket back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here real quick and throw the hub on. Um, get the caliper mount bracket, caliper, start getting that stuff buttoned back up so we can get this truck done. So when you put these on, they have to be clocked a certain way or clocked or positioned, however you want to say it. So we'll slide this on here. Watch your cables that you don't break them. Justin Bolt. Thank you. please thank you thank you Three of them are started. I believe it's an 18 millimeter socket. Uh, I'm gonna find one real quick, and we'll be back with you. All right, guys, back at it. Got a socket here. Just gonna tighten these down. Don't uh, don't torque one all the way down and not snug the others up. Go through and get them all at once. Okay, that one's snug. So we'll come in here to the top one. Just get it snugged up. And then we'll come back after we get the last one snugged up and uh, tighten them all down real good. Big old hands don't like to fit in some of these spots that well. But Justin's Justin's wearing nice clothes tonight. We've been doing Christmas decorations around the house. So we just figured we hadn't got most of them up. We'd jump out here and work on this. He came out and tightened everything while I was working on making dinner. And we just had this last piece here. A little bit here to do. Try to have this thing ready by this weekend, if possible. So, go ahead here. Put the 
And from that on, Justin, you want to grip me the big socket for this? Thank you. Uh, is that ratchet good? Yeah. Thank you. Uh oh. There we go. I'll go ahead and just snug this down, get it in here, get the truck down on the ground, and come back with the torque wrench and tighten it down all the way. I forget the torque specs, it's like 90 or 100 foot pounds of torque on this nut, so there's not much of a chance I'm going to get it that tight I'm sitting here holding it with this pry bar but that's on that's ran down so next is the rotor Cody can you or Justin slide me the rotor thank you on then caliper mount goes on like this nope I'll get it right like that bolt started hmm. Guess we should have painted this caliper mount bracket, huh, Justin? Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Not gonna make it stop any better if it's shiny. That's all. Not gonna change. Snug that down. Justin, those are two little pieces of. Yep. Yep. All right, guys, your anti chatter shims or whatever you want to call them, they uh, keep them from rattling and vibrating and squeaking. So they just sort of slip on. Sort of sit there. Grab this. See if we can get it back on. I don't think we actually ever opened the caliper up. I only took it apart. Oop. Oh. Let's see here. No, I'm not leaving those off, guys. I'm just getting this on here so I can uh, try and pry the caliper a little bit to open it so we can get the brakes back on. Well, 
There we go. Usually these work a lot better if you compress the pistons in the caliper before you take them off, which I didn't do, of course, as you can tell. So it's still still fighting me. Bag on it. Yeah, see, I got one compressed and one's not, so. Take this back out. Slip this back on here. Those them shims do not want to stay on. There we go. A little persuasion. Put the bolts in. They'll start. Of course, they're not going to. There we go. There's one. these down hook up the ABS wiring and she's pretty much done guys put the wheel on her set her down tighten that axle nut down guys when you do your ABS whoops guess it long size when you do the ABS sensors guys make sure you route these the right way and you hook them all your plugs into where they go if not you run the risk of hooking this thing into your tire when you make a turn ripping it out and then you don't have ABS or traction control or anything like that they uh Got to keep this stuff routed like it's supposed to. This one goes in there. I'll get to that one in a minute. This. Remember where the little one there went. Hook this back in. Minus the one clip, ABS sensors are back in. And I'll get that on here in a minute. So, all right, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up. I think most of you know how to put a tire on. Um, if not, let us know. We'll show you how. So, thanks for watching the channel. As always, like, subscribe from all of us here at Shade Tree Mechanics. Thanks.